Imagine owning a watch that is well and truly ready for any surgical strike at moment's notice. The GD351 BDR. If this watch were a person, it would be the most sought after mission specialist. I am on secret missions every day and this watch has been on my wrist during those missions. I used it for a month and this is my honest feedback. Namaste everybody. Let's dive right in. The build and design. It is chunky but light at uh, just 75 grams. This is all resin. The case, the bezel and the band. The band has the double pin buckle. This one has mineral crystal which is a tad bit more scratch resistant than the acrylic crystal of F91. Now, if you look at the ridges, if you look at the frame, the bezel, it is elevated to a greater degree compared to some of the basic G-Shocks, even the squares. Now, this design offers great protection to the mineral glass, so it feels like the mineral glass is embedded deep within the bezel. So, this design protects the watch from any scratches that could potentially happen if you were to drop it face down on a flat surface. So that is a good design. Now for the size comparison, let's look at how the 350, the GD350 looks next to F91. Here is my F91 3DG. So you can look, you can see the size. This is the size comparison. It's absolutely massive. Now you might be like, it's F91. So obviously the GD350 being a G-Shock, it will look much bigger than the F91. Wait a minute. Look at this. This is your standard G-Shock G5600 Tough Solar. The GD350 still looks like a beast. If they were to enter a wrestling match, GD350 can take it down, knockout, punch, hands down. So there you go, the size comparison, the design. There are three rectangular buttons, two on the left and one on the right, but the fourth one, the bottom right button is a circular metal button. I will come to it in a bit as to what its function is. Now because this one button is different, there is asymmetry in the design which you can tell from the back. This particular ridge or whatever you want to call it is smaller compared to the one on this side which has the circular button. But Casio has been known to do that throughout history. The feedback on these buttons is absolutely amazing. They are so soft. It feels really nice to press these buttons, but especially the, the circular button, it feels really good. It's because it is metal, really soft on your fingertips. And when you press them, you get a really good feedback. Now let's talk about the light. It has high luminance LED. Now for us to check, we'll have to turn off the studio light. The G-Shock GD350 has got two LEDs in the bottom corners. Now, this is high luminance LED. The light on this one is white, as you can see. Now, these two LEDs do a pretty good job of lighting up the whole screen and the numbers, the time is highly legible, even in the dark. You can choose to keep the light on for one, three or five seconds every time it is pressed. One second is actually 1.5 seconds. Observe this tiny circle here and that black segment is going to go on because I am going to turn on the auto light feature by pressing and holding the light button for three seconds. It's gone white, which means now the auto light feature is on. Let's test out the auto light feature. Turn off the light. Let's turn off this studio light as well. Let's test the auto light feature, which we just turned on by pressing and holding the light button in the center. Let's go. The watch face is away from me. I'm gonna tilt it to look at the time and it comes on. And turn it away, it goes off. Let's test that again. 
comes on, goes away. Now, I don't recommend using the auto light feature uh, unless you absolutely need it because you know you are going to drain the battery. This is not a solar watch unless you are a soldier on a mission in the dark and you need to check time without letting go of the weapon in your other hand. Now this watch has two special features for which a detailed video will come up later this week but I'll quickly run through these two features. One is the vibration alarm. As you can tell from the face of the watch, it's written right there at the bottom below the time. It says Vibe Alarm, which means this watch has vibration feature. You can check the vibration on the watch even without having to go to the alarm by pressing and holding this button here. I'm going to touch the watch to the camera. Do you guys hear that? That's the vibration on this amazing watch. Now, I have used this feature a couple of times and it worked like a charm but it only vibrates for 10 seconds and if you don't wake up in those 10 seconds then you will miss your train to work. And it also means you need to sleep wearing the watch. The watch has 5 alarms. As you can see, it's on alarm number 5 which is the snooze alarm, the SNZ written on top. If you press the metal button, you can cycle through all the alarms. This is a signal so you can turn on or off the hourly chime. And if you press this button, you go to the first alarm, second, third and fourth. These are regular, regular alarms. And the fifth one is a snooze alarm. Now if you use the regular alarms, then you just have to take the risk of you not waking up in case you miss the alarm going off for those 10 seconds. But if you want snooze then switch on the snooze and the snooze alarm actually repeats 7 times every 5 minutes till you turn it off. The second special feature is as I pointed out earlier is the special button. This special button is dedicated for countdown timer. This is the home mode, the timekeeping mode. And if you press on this button, the countdown timer comes on. It will keep running. Now if you cycle through to the countdown timer mode, it is running the one that you just activated from the timekeeping mode. Right? The fields change. It was on top in the timekeeping mode. When you cycle through to the uh, timer mode, it switches to the main field which is the uh, larger uh, numbers, larger digits, right? You can, even if you go back to the home timekeeping mode, sorry, yeah, there it is. It's running on top. It's switched places now with the uh, current time. You can turn it off only by going to the timer mode. See, once you start the timer in the, ti uh, the main homekeeping mode, you will have to go to the timer mode to turn it off, reset, and you now you can start in the timer mode itself. So that's the feedback. I wish they had the option of operating the countdown timer, you know, turning it on, turning it off, and resetting somehow from... Um, the home mode, the, which is the timekeeping mode, but I guess they will need the other buttons for other functions in the timekeeping mode, so it's understandable. But it would have been cool if, if they could somehow fit one extra button which, which you could use to control the timer from the timekeeping mode instead of starting it here and then having to go to the timer mode to continue operating it and you know resetting it. So that's, that's just my input. I find the timer mode really useful, especially that I can operate it from the timekeeping mode. I use it as a reminder to call someone in an hour or a few hours or while cooking when I need to go back to the dish and you know, uh, which is on the stove and check on it every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes. Also to remind me to check my subscriber count every 5 minutes. What is wrong with me? Coming to the price, this is listed at 8500 INR on the Casio India website and when I check the US website, it is listed for 130 USD. This, I'm telling you, trust me when I say this, this watch is in demand, 
okay it is really it, it has been trending for a while i think and um, when i spoke to people on reddit when i interacted with them it is a popular watch i saw a few people post um, their wrist shots with this watch so if this goes on sale you should get it buy it don't steal it the main reason why you buy a watch should be for the features that you have use for to tell time but it is also about how the watch makes you feel but a part of us want the watch that we wear to be recognized by others it's just human nature on two occasions i got cool watch bro and i was like well that was truly worth the price i paid for it human beings there you go guys that is my honest review and honest feedback of this watch after having used it for a month later this week as promised i will be making a video on how to use two different features how to use the alarm function and the countdown timer on this bad boy now if you were to ask me in the comment section if you should buy this watch well what does your heart say based on the feedback i provided i think you should get it this for its price range i think it's a very good purchase if you get it if your heart says yes don't listen to your mind just get it thank you for watching and as always thank you for the support thank you for interacting with me in the comment section every single comment every single like every single subscription goes a long way in helping me grow the channel so i can offer more and more quality content for you guys so you can make informed decisions on buying your watches whether it's for your collection or for you know the features please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content on watches stay tuned and stay classy